Okay, we have some breaking news uh, tonight to report out of Flint, Michigan. In terms of the response to the lead poisoning crisis in Flint, President Obama, you'll remember last week, dispatched uh, this person, Dr. Nicole Lurie, to be on site in Flint heading up the federal response to the mass poisoning there. Uh, Dr. Lurie hit the ground in Flint last week, again, as the federal point person for this crisis. Late this evening, we're getting new news of what kind of federal help she might be asked to muster and coordinate. Governor Rick Snyder of Michigan tonight says he is requesting that the federal government provide medical care for young people in Flint. Uh, he's going to ask Dr. Lurie's agency, the Public Health Service, to cover long-term health care for everyone in Flint under the age of 21. Governor Snyder says tonight that he wants a Flint-specific expansion of Medicaid, so that federal health insurance program will cover every young person in Flint, regardless of income. He's asking basically for comprehensive medical treatment for the long haul for all Flint kids, because they all drank that lead-poisoned water because of what his administration did. Now, that is apparently the request coming from the state of Michigan. We have not heard back from the Public Health Service on this request, but, but this is new. What Michigan Governor Rick Snyder is asking for from the federal government, long-term help, medical help for people who live in Flint, and especially long-term help for Flint's kids. Joining us now is the mayor of Flint, Michigan. Uh, I'm told that Mayor Karen Weaver is on the phone with us and not in front of a camera because she's just gotten out of a long meeting uh, with Governor Rick Snyder on this very subject. Mayor Weaver, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Thank you, and I apologize. I couldn't be there in person, but we just finished up. Well, can you tell us a little bit about what happened um, in this meeting, what, the, what you understand to be the, the current state of the, the governor's request for federal help and the next, next steps for Flint? And you know what, and let me say this, I, I had the opportunity to not only have this meeting with him, but I was also in the meeting when the president, our national, our national state and local president sat down from the NAACP sat down and put some requests in place as well. Mm. But one of the things that when you were talking about the, the medical help that, that is going to be coming for, the, for Medicaid to be expanded, you know, those were things that we've been wanting. Those are still first steps because we know we have to get the kids identified to know what they need. So, you know, these are really good first steps, but we still have to put the services in place that they're going to need from here on, on out. And so that's what we have to look at as well. So we still have to have a comprehensive uh, set of services for, for kids and families. But I was really pleased with this first step. I will be meeting uh, with Dr. Laurie. I, I just got back in town early this morning. I was in the snowstorm, so I have not had the opportunity to sit down with her mm. a second time. But that's what we want to look at is how do we extend all these kinds of services for kids? You know, we, we want to look at other services. We want to look at extending WIC. We want to look at extending uh, Head Start, those kinds of things as well. So that's what we're trying to put in place. The other thing that the governor talked about when we were when we were meeting tonight is, you know, I've been saying that the 28 million isn't enough. And the governor said he recognizes that as well. That was another one of his first steps. Now, the budget is going to be uh, put in place probably within the month. And so what I'm working on now with my team is uh, getting some figures to him because we're going to we're doing another ask. <laughs> we, we need some more money. And so I just wanted to be very clear with him that this is what we need to have, have, have happen next. He has given some, some first steps that we are in favor of, we appreciate, but we know we need more because some of the other things we have to look at here in the city of Flint is what's happened to our, our economy mm. as a result of this water. You know, we, our economy has gone down. Our businesses have gone down. People aren't, aren't coming into certain, you know, to restaurants. Uh, people can't afford those filtration systems for the restaurants. And businesses, you know, will leave here. And so we are also putting an economic development plan in place for the city of Flint in addition to the services and supports that these kids and families are going to need. So we had to look at other things because Flint has been impacted in so many ways as a result of what's happened. Mayor Weaver, um, in terms of recovery of Flint, I'm, I'm very moved by what you're saying in terms of supporting kids and supporting their families in terms of kids that have already been exposed. But I'm also mm -hmm. thinking about the risk of continued exposure. We see all that bottled water being uh, brought into Flint, and that's it's great. And in many cases, it's heartwarming to see those donations. But you can't indefinitely run a city of 100,000 people where everything has to be done with water out of little plastic bottles. So what about the... What about the pipes? What about the, the lead pipes right. that were ruined that, in exactly, the city? Exactly, because we, I'm sorry, we've got to get started on those uh, lead. Ooh.
let service lines. That was one of the other things. So maybe I just neglected to say that. We've got to get working on that. We know it's a difficult time just because it's winter right now. And, you know, there are parts of the ground that are frozen. But that's, that's one of our priorities. We've got to get that going. Because you're absolutely right. We don't know when this biofilm will build back up. We cannot survive on bottled water for an extended period of time. Karen Weaver, mayor of Flint, Michigan. Uh, Ma'am, thank you for your, for your time tonight, especially when you are uh, so busy in, in doing what you're doing for your city. And I know we're going to see you tomorrow night at our town hall in yes. Flint. I really appreciate you taking time. We are looking time. forward to it. We appreciate you as well. Not nearly as much as I'm looking forward to it, ma'am. Thank you. I'll see you then. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.